space travel has become quite a competitive industry in the last decade there was a time when NASA and private agencies like Boeing enjoyed a non-competitive environment but not anymore. With the rise of agencies like SpaceX Boeing is losing its edge it once had and this story is about one such recent event when Boeing lost one of its biggest contracts to SpaceX at the start of space cargo and crew programs the biggest competitors were. Boeing and SpaceX but everyone underestimated SpaceX saying that Boeing was a better success story in the industry while well, today's SpaceX is. Preparing to make the sixth flight after its first test flight with astronauts and guess where Boeing is yep still on. The ground you won't believe it. But following the jaw-dropping success of SpaceX even NASA's top administrators like Bill Nelson who once doubted SpaceX are finally putting prejudice aside and realizing that Boeing's Starliners is a very bad win compared to SpaceX's Dragon. However their foundation SpaceX showed the world what they were capable of in 2006 by launching its very first rocket. Prototype and since then SpaceX has been improving and getting better at what they do it's not like they were always perfect and did not do any mistakes as a matter of fact a lot of test projects failed at this one time. But Elon Musk announced that SpaceX was on the verge of bankruptcy but somehow Elon managed to keep the company afloat and their upcoming successful launches changed the whole game for the company and industry. SpaceX did this by introducing a reusable rocket booster in the industry and by successfully bringing the booster back to Earth they changed the way people looked toward them there was a time when they bid for a contract from NASA and everyone booed at them and said that Boeing is a legacy company according to those critics no matter how far. SpaceX goes it would never be able to achieve what Boeing has these were the days when SpaceX had just started its test missions and it was failing at a lot of those and considering their situation critics started making fun of the company Boeing obviously showed better statistics so everyone was ready to bet their money on them. Today though SpaceX has proven all its critics wrong and that's not just an opinion recently the boss of NASA said. This everyone poo-pooed against Elon Musk's SpaceX when it bid against Boeing stating that Boeing is a legacy company. But see what SpaceX has accomplished today and when you consider how much SpaceX has accomplished in the last few years you understand that SpaceX is not an ordinary player in the market. The previous few years they have brought a revolution in the space industry and now they are on their way to revolutionizing space travel forever it's just extraordinary all of those abandoned launch pads on Cape Canaveral they've come to life um it's now not unusual that there's a space launch every week an exciting time ahead. Their successful rockets including Dragon Falcon 9 and a Falcon Heavy on their portfolio once they launch their new starship it's going to be a total game changer that's when it's the game over situation. Currently they are in no position to compete with SpaceX NASA has its eyes on the lunar surface and they want to land. They're astronauts on the moon. NASA's own human landing system or HLS with Artemis. Rocket lifted off a few weeks ago and now NASA wants SpaceX to work with them and help them land their Orion capsule. On the moon's surface. NASA has recently awarded SpaceX with 14 missions which include crewed missions to the International Space Station and other payload missions on the other hand. Boeing has been given just six this proved that SpaceX got the substance to beat all its competitors and that's how it should be we all know that SpaceX has conducted several successful missions. While the Starliner spacecraft from Boeing is idling at the launch pad even if Boeing manages to launch their rocket tomorrow which is absolutely impossible. Even then they will not be able to compete with the achievements of SpaceX. Senator Bill Nelson who is the administrator of NASA couldn't stop but appreciate the accomplishment of SpaceX he said. When we plan to award contracts for crewed and payload missions SpaceX and Boeing were two main bidders and although a lot of people raise questions about SpaceX. How they have managed to get their Starlink internet satellites into space they are far away from achieving the goal of sending 30,000 satellites but we know that over 2,000 satellites that are orbiting were sent by SpaceX's own rockets there's this achievement and then there's the Starship. NASA took over 12 years in building their SLS rocket which would reinstate the mission to land astronauts on the lunar surface again by comparison. SpaceX announced its Starship prototypes in 2020 and they are planning to launch it in the last few days of 2020. That's how efficient and next level their engineering is so there is no doubt that SpaceX is on the track to change the course of private space travel. There are companies like Blue Origin who have joined the league with SpaceX and with that one thing certain that space 
traveling is going to be transformed once they hit their true potential already. SpaceX has conducted test missions of Starship and in a few years it will be ready to take men to the lunar surface once again but SpaceX has a bigger ambition which is to land its Starship on the surface of Mars. The ambitions are more than looking forward SpaceX is basically no comparison when it comes to the excellence that the space agency has achieved in a fraction of the time there is a reason they were awarded the mission contracts by NASA. SpaceX doesn't go for tactics like lobbying to get the contracts there were times when they didn't get any contracts so what did they do they kept working on their product and today the world could see what they have been able to accomplish. SpaceX has taken astronauts to International Space Station and its Dragon spacecraft and Starlink's many satellites are just an example of their capabilities so have they won the race? Well yes they have. In addition humanity is prepared to begin a new era of interplanetary travel to Mars, our solar system, and beyond, as nuclear power-related technologies promise to make such missions faster, more effective, and more economical. According to Elon Musk's most recent scientific advancements, we could finally be approaching the era of nuclear-powered spaceflight. NASA intends to use it for a human moon mission if all goes according to plan. According to the plans of the Pentagon, military equipment can be delivered worldwide within minutes. Astronomers, satellite companies, and potential space tourists are all interested in it since it has the potential to dramatically reduce the cost of going to space. It is what Elon Musk refers to as the space technology holy grail. What is this desired piece of space technology, how does it work, and what benefits can we expect from it? Humans have been captivated by the stars above us in many different ways since the beginning of civilization. Still, there is an extreme interest in the astrophysics of the universe beyond our solar system. This is mainly due to the numerous new scientific research carried out worldwide by space organizations. Suppose we wish to launch autonomous probes to the closest stars during a human lifetime. In that case, we need to develop new propulsion technologies enabling substantially greater speeds than now. Nuclear fusion is one of the most promising possibilities, although it has yet to produce commercially practical results. The lack of suitable technology is the main barrier to interstellar travel. The main problem with going there is that the stars are so far away. The star closest to us, Proxima Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. This translates to 269,000 astronomical units, O, oh, where 1 AU corresponds to the typical distance between the Earth and the Sun, or roughly 150,000 kilometers. Pluto is the most distant dwarf planet in our solar system, orbiting the Sun on average at a distance of around 40 Australian dollars, while the Sun is more than 7,000 times farther away than Pluto. How long would a probe take to reach the Proxima in that case? The Voyager 1 probe, launched in 1977 to study Jupiter and Saturn, was the fastest human-built spacecraft. It left the solar system in 2012 and is now traveling at 17 km per second, or 3.60 per year. From a human perspective, it would take approximately 74,000 years for Voyager 1 to reach Proxima if it were pointing in that direction, that is not a very beneficial time scale for a researcher to wait for their results. The utility of a space probe is determined by its ability to send back data on a time scale appropriate to humans, such as decades or even centuries. To be clear, we're talking about travel times that are 1,000 times faster than what Voyager 1 would take to reach Proxima Centauri. Because time equals distance divided by speed, we must devise methods for accelerating probes three orders of magnitude faster than is currently possible. Is that possible? It would be much easier to fly if we used fusion power. Researchers are attempting to develop methods to capture the massive amount of energy released during fusion events and use it to power a propulsion system. A fusion-powered spaceship could shorten the time it takes to reach Mars, thus accelerating the timeline for a human-crewed Mars mission. This type of spacecraft could mitigate the harmful effects of radiation and weightlessness. The development of a fusion-powered spacecraft would be comparable to the development of an Earth-based vehicle with twice the top speed of any car and a fuel economy of 7,000 miles per gallon. In rocket science, the specific impulse of a rocket engine is used to calculate its fuel economy. The specific impulse is the thrust unit per propellant unit spent over time. 
the ability of conventional chemical rocket engines to generate high specific impulses is limited. A typical chemical rocket engine has a specific impulse of approximately 450 seconds, which means it can cause one pound of thrust from one pound of fuel in 450 seconds. In contrast, a fusion rocket has a specific impulse of 130,000 seconds. Furthermore, hydrogen will be used as a fuel and fusion powered rocket, allowing them to refuel while traveling through space. To refuel a spacecraft, we'll need to dive into the planet's atmosphere and suck in some hydrogen. Compared to chemical rockets, which rapidly deplete their fuel, fusion powered rockets could provide longer thrusts. Fusion propulsion is expected to enable rapid travel throughout our solar system, potentially allowing one way trips from Earth to Jupiter in as little as two years. SpaceX has been developing the most powerful rocket ever built, a massive stainless steel rocket. Combined with its booster stage, it stands 400 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty, and its pedestal will be completely reusable, unlike any previous orbital rocket. SpaceX, Elon Musk's private spaceflight company, was founded to make life on other planets possible in a catastrophic event such as a massive asteroid strike. He claims that humans may be relocated to planets such as Mars to maintain civilization. Elon Musk has made no secret of his desire to establish communities on Mars. He believes that large populations are required for towns to become self-sufficient. To make this vision a reality, we need a capable vehicle to handle the journey where Elon Musk's powerful starship comes in. The system is designed to be entirely and instantly reusable. The term fully reusable refers to the fact that the main hardware components are returned to the ground for reuse rather than being burned or dumped in the ocean, as with some other launch systems. After returning from space, the Starship, like an airplane, can be quickly refueled with fuel and ready to launch again. As a result, the overall cost of the business is reduced. Since 2010, SpaceX has used the Falcon 9 which has grown to be one of the most important launches for international space flight. The Starship, on the other hand, is the next generation. What's the purpose of the Starship? NASA's Atmos program, which aims to establish a long-term human presence on the Moon, will rely heavily on Starship technology. In April 2021, the U.S. Space Agency awarded SpaceX a $2.89 billion contract to transform Starship into a lander capable of transporting astronauts to the lunar surface. The heat shield and flaps required for a return trip to Earth would not be present in the version designed for Artemis flights within this decade. After its initial launch from Earth, the Starship's human landing system would remain in space, eventually being used for several excursions between lunar orbit and the Moon's surface. Elon Musk claims that a starship may one day carry travelers to places within the more incredible solar system, such as gas giants like Jupiter, although this is still a long-term objective. Contrary to many of NASA's advanced propulsion concepts, which won't be realized for decades, the foundation for fusion propulsion is now being created. NASA received new research funding in 2018 and 2019 to resume NTP research, with a test flight scheduled for 2024. Nuclear Thermal Propulsion Systems, or NTP systems, have been around for a while. Still, they have the potential to shorten travel times and carry more payloads than today's best chemical rockets, which are currently the most powerful. Elon Musk stated in a tweet last summer that a nuclear thermal rocket for fast transit around the solar system would be a great area of research for NASA, seemingly implying that NASA should focus on NTP development. At the same time, private companies advance with more sophisticated chemical rocket technologies. NTP systems pump liquid fuel, often hydrogen, through a reactor core. Uranium atoms split apart within the core during fission, creating heat. During this physical process, the fuel is heated, converting it into a gas that is expanded via a nozzle to produce thrust. NTP rockets are more energy dense than conventional rockets and twice as efficient as chemical rockets. As a result, the NTP rocket may travel further while using less fuel, increasing efficiency. That is our video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.